Hello and welcome to this week's edition of a case study brought to you by Electronic Robotics. This week, we're going to show you a robot that will go to a website with a list of items, extract each of those items, and then enter them into another website. We're, don't worry, we're going to show you the whole algorithm of this robot from start to finish, the final result, and how it works. So what will this robot do exactly? Well, first, it will scan the configuration file, go to the Yelp.com, search for the specified parameters that we give it, extract information about the places that we have specified, and enter this information on our map in Google My Maps. Thus, we will create our own map in which only these places will be marked. So let's start and show you the configuration file. This bot's algorithm is designed to start by reading the settings from the configuration file. So this is actually where the magic is gonna start happening. In this file, there are two sheets. On the first, we can change the path to save the final result. And here we can also change the link to our Google map, which is a key component to our task here. So the next sheet stores the request that we make on Yelp. And in this case, the robot will extract information about where you can go shop, go grab a snack when you got the late night munchies, and where to park while in the process. And speaking of which, I don't know if you guys have ever been to San Francisco, but you know this process, we're gonna be looking for locations for stores, restaurants, that sort of stuff in San Francisco. Uh, I've been there one too many times, and I can speak from my experience, there is nowhere to park. Trying to find parking there is like trying to find sushi on the menu at Chipotle. It's not possible. But you know what, let's go ahead, let's move on to the platform and show you the algorithm. As you can see, we've broken down this algorithm into three sub-programs, and I'll talk a little bit more about them later, but basically you can see them right now. This is what it looks like. It's a three-step process. And in fact, I'm going to go ahead and launch the bot. So as you can see now, well, right now the robot is reading the configuration file, taking the first step by visiting Yelp and searching for the specified items that we, you know, specified in the configuration file. Now the robot has extracted all the data it needs. It saved it to a file and it's getting ready to upload it to the map. The bot is going to click the import, select the desired file, and then it puts down the necessary headers and finishes loading. And bam, just like that, ladies and gentlemen, we have our map with our points of interest, everything that we were looking for, specifically, you know, the stores, the, the restaurants, uh, the parking spots, all that included. And that was so fast. But you know what? Let's go ahead and take another look at the algorithm here. Uh, specifically, specifically, let's break down each uh, subroutine and see what they contain. The first subroutine is read config. And as you probably already understood from the name, uh, this robot simply reads the configuration file to continue working with the spe specified values. From there, we move on to the next subroutine. Here we have a cycle-like process in which another subroutine is being executed. That is, a subroutine within a subroutine is, yeah, is executing it. Yeah, and I know it sounds like inception, but this is possible with our platform. This is actually how we make requests and store information about the places of interest for us. And so let's move on to our last subroutine for this bot, which essentially opens up a site with Google Maps and downloads the file for us. And so as you can see, this robot structure is pretty straightforward, pretty, pretty simple, pretty easy to understand. Let's go ahead and take a look at uh, our Excel sheet that we had uh, created. I'm just going to go through the file manager real quick. And so as you can see from our Excel sheet right here, it has all the data that we were looking for exactly intact uh, in a way that we can read it and pull the data uh, essentially uh, how we like it. This is a great example of you know, essentially what we can do here at Electronic, how powerful our, our platform is and what the possibilities really entail. So that's it, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for tuning in. If you want to find out more information, you know, maybe specifically about a particular process that you have in mind, uh, feel free to reach out to us at sales at electronic.com. If you're interested in becoming a partner, you know where to find us. Drop us an email at partners at electronic.com. And if you want to find out just more information about RPA in general, you can join our community 
or follow us. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel. That's it, guys. Thank you so much. Have a good rest of the day.